Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to see the difference between MongoDB and Redis. Both MongoDB and Redis are NoSQL databases. MongoDB was developed by MongoDB and Redis was developed by Redis Labs. MongoDB uses binary JSON documents which can be up to 16 MB in size. It supports multiple data types such as strings, numbers and arrays. On the other hand, Redis is a key value store with keys being binary safe strings up to 512 MB in length and values being strings or various data structures such as lists, sets and hashes. The stored data is limited by the available memory in Redis. Coming to transactions, MongoDB supports multi-document ACID transactions with easy to use syntax which are very similar to relational databases. On the other hand, Redis has basic multi-record transaction support with the multi-command but it has no rollback support. MongoDB has a very powerful query API that allows developers to query documents by keys, ranges or text search as well as perform graph traversals and geospatial queries. However, Redis only supports key value queries and has very limited query functionality, although this can be enhanced with third-party Redis modules. Coming to the storage side, MongoDB uses on-disk storage by default with an in-memory storage engine which is available in the Enterprise Edition. However, Redis is an in-memory storage engine with the option for on-disk persistence. MongoDB offers a wide range of indexes including compound, TTL, text, geospatial, hash and wildcard indexes which can be easily created and analyzed with a performance advisor tool in MongoDB Atlas. On the other hand, Redis is more limited in its indexing capabilities with secondary indexes requiring manual creation and maintenance. Coming to the scalability side, both MongoDB and Redis offer scaling options with MongoDB having built-in sharding that allows developers to scale out across multiple nodes and regions. On the other hand, Redis offers Redis cluster which uses hash sharding but does not support multi-shard database operations or consistent cross-shard backups. MongoDB uses replica sets to create copies of data across separate nodes, data centers and regions with automatic failover option. On the other hand, Redis uses Sentinel to monitor the state of the Redis cluster but manual failover is required in the event of a failure. Hope you found this video helpful to understand the difference between MongoDB and Redis. Thank you.